Howdy y'all, this is A.R. Cavley, welcome back to my channel, and what you see is a, a sad A.R. Cavley, because the last two videos have no audio, and frankly I don't really feel like going back and trying to <laughs> replay those sessions, because a lot of really cool stuff happened, so unfortunately I'm just going to have to uh, use a voiceover and give a quick rundown of what happened and then i'll combine them all into a into a condensed video and i'm i'm crying on the inside i really can't explain how angry i am that this happened every now and then my microphone will just go to sleep and when i'm in the you know when i'm in the throes of my gaming I just don't even notice it, and it hasn't done it to me for a long time, so uh, anyway, so they had the thief, they drug him out through town, and found some, uh, found some in interesting stuff, they found some mushrooms on the way in as they were traveling, I had decided, uh, or determined, uh, through the dice rolls, that Morgana the Barbarian, Morgana the, the Heart Piercer, was just north of town, that she didn't really have to be that far away, since the hexes were pretty big. Um, so they they went through with no, no trouble. The thug, he decided that he was just going to play it safe. He was tied up, and... Um, He'd already watched uh, Lucas, at least, kill. Well, I guess, uh, I guess Moraine did, too. He, he watched them kill his gang, so. And he does actually work for Morgana, so he's just going to go along, take, her, take them to her, and let her decide what to do. They get to Morgana as our one of our previous random events happened. Uh, to point out back on day three that Morgana did not trust them. It was decided that Lucas, with his negotiation skill, even though um, <clears throat> uh, even though Morion has a higher charisma, that he would he would probably get to he would have a better chance of it. So he rolled with advantage. And I decided that because Morgana didn't trust them, it was going to be disadvantaged. So that canceled out. And he rolled a 19. So they got on to negotiating. And things were going well. They were cheering and talking and getting to know each other. When suddenly, over the hill, came a voice that said, Morgana. Your bounty is mine. And looking up, they see a group of seven bounty hunters. The She looked up at him and, recognizing him, says, Miles. Miles Razam. Just randomly rolled the name on the, on the tables. Modified it a little bit. And they charged. Since they were in a hollow, that's where I rolled that they, that, that where her camp was, was in a hollow. And so I decided that they would probably come pretty close. And I was, you know, I only have so many, <laughs> I have so many spaces on my um, battle board. I rolled to see if, since the distance was vague, I rolled to see if uh, they would be far enough to allow Morion to at least get one sling stone off because you know she was the only one as 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 everything was rolled she was the only one that had a missile weapon but i rolled a one rolled like a a, a bad uh encounter result or and so not only was she not able to get her shot off she panicked on her first turn and hid behind lucas instead of instead of fighting so they they charged and the first couple of rounds did not go very well. A lot of a lot of missing, 
Uh, one of Morgana's henchmen, the one that they actually drugged from the city, died right off. The other one ended up running away. Mor uh, Morgana, she ended up getting clubbed pretty bad. She's got 18 hit points, so she's pretty tough. I when I when I generated her, I don't remember if it was in one of these episodes or previously. I think it was probably one of these episodes. I rolled and she was she's a level three basic barbarian type character and she had 18 hit points. Um as the battle raged on, she kept getting hit by this by this uh bandit who had one hit point but was like the boss of the battle, man. He was he was getting missed, he was dodging out of the way, he was striking. Um, but, uh, three of the bandits on the left flank failed their morale roll when Morgana buried her axe into, uh, Miles' face and killed him. Killed him dead, rolling a ten. And, uh... I was debating whether or not he should like crumple his shield, but he, he had eight hit points, so I was thinking, well, he can probably take a hit and then save his shield crumple for later. Uh but no, he got he got the axe in the face, and the entire left flank, the ones facing uh our heroes, they all failed their morale rolls. Now one of Morgana's people failed their mor his morale roll too, and he ran off. Miles managed to kill one of them with his attack of opportunity, uh, and the other two fled. When the other two fled, I decided that the remaining three on the right flank, their right flank, uh, would roll again because half of their force had been defeated, and they all rolled super low. So I decided they were they were there to fight, especially that one guy who kept who kept. Uh, uh, really giving it to Morgana, the dude with one hit points. Uh, and then there were some more rounds of whiffing where it was getting pretty close, and Morgana kept getting hit. Uh, she was down to like five hit points. Uh, well, they get it down to where it's just one person against the three remaining of our heroes, and he rolls a 20 against Morgana. And they're they're worried that, of course, they've come all this way, and... The person that they're supposed to hire is going to get killed in the battle, and they will have nothing. But she did have a helmet, fortunately, so she crumpled her helmet and uh, survived the blow, which is good because she would be she would have been dead. If she did not have her helmet because she only had five hit points left. Um, and while he was. Uh, while he was standing proud of uh, staggering the mighty Morgana heart piercer, the bandit did not see Lucas thrust his spear up into the bandit's armpit as he, he stared in shock and horror until the life fled his eyes and he fell to the ground. And that's how they won the battle. And that was kind of close because he... Oh, Lucas, he was doing all right, and then he kept whiffing. Uh, and then against this last guy, he kept rolling ones for his damage. But finally, uh, the guy just ran out of hit points. <laughs> and so they searched their bodies, um, found some found some gold, and are now decided to rest uh, instead of trying to get back to the city. Morgana claims that she has somebody in the city who can not only fix her helmet, but fix her head that got bashed in because uh, because she has done this for a long time and she knows people to <laughs> how to patch her up. So that's where we're at. And I guess it's kind of a sad commentary that the uh, summary is about 10 minutes for something that it was uh, nearly an hour to roll up, but that's the that's the difference between a summary and actually doing the prep and play. Um, so if I can, I'll, if this has worked properly, then 
the two videos will have been speeding by uh, as I as I narrated the summary, and then I will try to get the next one out. That will actually be a video where stuff happens. Uh, so my apologies, and uh, grrr. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I hope my summary was at least amusing if uh, and, and entertaining. Uh, if not as entertaining as all the dice rolling and moving little peoples around. Uh, but maybe it'll all look like a little Benny Hill battle since I'm going to try to make the, so I'm gonna try to speed everything up. Uh, anyway, happy gaming. Better luck next time for me.